Hey, Rob here, doing a response and a review, and I'm sure many of you have seen over several hundred perished in that fire in Brazil, mostly young people, and came on here as a minister of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Maybe I can comfort somebody or somehow with my words that God's given it, given to me. Hopefully he'll speak for me and maybe give some people some some hope that are that are grieving and mourning. Maybe some people even know someone that was involved in that, that tragedy. And friends, God did not orchestrate this. God never orchestrates evil. Uh, God is a God of uh, mercy, compassion, love, grace, kindness. And, you know, accidents happen. Uh, we live in a fallen world. Sometimes there's demonic people that carry out demonic acts that murder people, that hurt people. People say, well, where's the justice? You know, it seems like there's injustice everywhere. It seems like there's perplexity, there's sex slave trade, all different, you know, and it just, you know, it, it just, you know, sometimes you see a shooting like Sandy Hook Elementary in Connecticut, and you say, where's God in this? You know what I'm saying? And you know, God is where he's always been. He's he, he he's on the throne. He's in control. And, you know, sometimes, again, accidents do happen. And sometimes you just can't explain it. And I'm not trying to. But I came on here to tell you God's a God of love, mercy, compassion, kindness, and grace. And first of all, my condolences to all of the victims, family, their friends, that whole region. And uh, join with me. Let's pray for them. Let's pray that God will comfort them. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we ask you to comfort the victims, family, their friends, Brazil that's mourning. Several hundred young people perished in that fire in Jesus' name. Friends, God desires no one to perish. Eternity is really the major question. That's why I came on here. Where are you going to spend eternity? Are you spending it with God or are you going to spend it separated from God and you know, God forbid you were in an accident one day. Would you make heaven your home? You know, could you be assured that when you take your last breath, you're going to go to heaven? The only way you can you can have that assurance is by having your life surrendered, submitted to the Lordship of Jesus. And you know, God comes by invitation only. He'll never crash, knock, or blow the door down to your heart. God gave us a free will, and we control the doorknob. You can accept the Lord due to obedience. You can reject Him due to disobedience. If you desire to recite a simple prayer after me, say, Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross of my sins. Thank you for being my Lord and Savior. God bless you if you prayed that prayer. Again, I just came on here to try and offer some type of comfort to people that are grieving and mourning, these young people that passed on in that fire. Desire to subscribe to my ministry channel via YouTube. Go for it. I have many ministry videos where I do talk about Christianity and the Bible and God and Jesus, etc. Friends, the Lord loves you. Be blessed.